As if health officials in China don't have enough on their hands with a spreading coronavirus, now officials announced an outbreak of bird flu. Manila, the Philippines has detected an outbreak of avian flu in a northern province after tests showed presence of the highly infectious H5N6 subtype of the influenza a virus in a quail farm. China's Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Affairs announced Saturday an outbreak of a highly pathogenic strain of H5N1 bird flu at a farm in the southern province of Yunnan. And as if the COVID-19 pandemic wasn't enough of a problem, the Agriculture Department confirms that it detected a strain of the avian flu in the province of Nueva Ecija. China has confirmed the latest outbreak of the highly pathogenic H5N1 bird flu in Hunan province. The virus was discovered on the farm with nearly 8,000 chickens. More than half of them have already died because of the outbreak. Said strain is H5N6 and was detected in Barangay Olanin Pitak in the town of Haen, Nueva Ecija. H5N6 is highly pathogenic avian influenza. On Sunday, China's Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Affairs reported the discovery of an H5N1 cluster on a farm in the province's city of Xiaoyang. China is not alone in trying to tamp down the spread of this virus. Earlier this week, authorities in India started culling chickens and destroying eggs to contain the bird flu virus. But can humans catch this avian flu strain? The Department of Agriculture clarifies that while it is possible... And a different strain, the H5N8 virus, has spread throughout Eastern Europe in recent weeks. WHO reports that people associated with close contact with dead or live birds could contract the H5N1 and that the infection is fatal to humans 60% of the time. So yeah, not only that we have to worry about the COVID-19, there's all these bird flus and viruses now spreading all throughout the world. For example, in Bulgaria, they report two new bird flu outbreaks, one outbreak of the highly pathogenic H5N8 bird flu. A triple whammy in Bihar now facing outbreak of bird flu and swine fever as well as coronavirus and that is in India. And over in Germany, Dutch order poultry to be kept indoors after German bird flu outbreak following reports of the German outbreak of the highly pathogenic H5N8 bird flu. Philippines, they detect H5N6 bird flu. In Vietnam, they report H5N6 bird flu as well. Then they're saying that there's a new avian flu outbreak that impacts China, India, and the Philippines, which is the H5N6 virus variant. And then also in the U.S., South Carolina industry scrambles to stop the fatal bird flu. And when I went to the World Health Organization website, it says the human infection with avian influenza H5N1 virus, there has been no new cases from March. Um, it says no new cases of H5N6 with the human uh, cases, infections. But then if I go to the next page, then it says the human infection with avian influenza H7N4 virus in China between 20 and 26 March 2020, no new cases, but that doesn't mean anything before that. Just like right here, it says H7N9 virus in China between 20 and 26, 2020, no new cases. But then if you read, it says as of 26 March 2020, a total of 1,500 laboratory confirmed human infections with avian influenza H7N9, which has been reported to WHO since early 2013. Among the 33 cases were infected with H7N9. So there are actually air people being infected. And what's crazy about this is this other video I found. A new strain of deadly bird flu dubbed disease X by the World Health Organization, or WHO, has killed hundreds of people in China and is just three mutations away from becoming transmittable between humans. So you're saying that it's not able to spread from human to human, but then if you Google search bird flu, it says that sometimes after close personal contact, a person who gets bird flu does infect another person. It is possible. Brain H7N9 circulates in poultry and has killed 623 people out of 1,625 infected in China, a mortality rate of 38.3%. So the H7N9, basically, if you get infected with it, has a 40% mortality rate, which is huge. So basically almost 50%, 50-50 chance of dying. And they're saying it's not able to spread from human to human, but if it actually, like, mutates or, like, you know, whatever, it might actually be able to do that. But the thing is, I honestly believe, from what I've researched, is that if you have it and you're infected and you cough, just like any other disease or virus, and the droplets get into the other person's mouth, or whatever that may be the case is that they could also get infected too. H7N9 is an example of another virus which has proven its ability to transmit from birds to humans, said Van Tam, 
who added, quote, it's possible that it could be the cause of the next pandemic. And that's what's concerning, and that's why I'm educating and informing you all that basically there's all these bird flus all around the world now, all these new strains, all these strains that are happening, and it's just a potential for disaster that it's going to be the new next pandemic, worse than coronavirus. The WHO says N7N9 is an unusually dangerous virus for humans and one of the most lethal influenza viruses that we've seen so far. And now it's spreading in different parts of the world. H7N9 viruses have several features typically associated with human influenza viruses and therefore possesses pandemic potential and need to be monitored closely. Exactly, and that's what's scary about this whole thing is that any of these viruses can mutate and be like human to human transmissible. And that's the thing too, is that I believe that some of them are, some of them actually can be, and some of them do. And that's, you know, it's just going to take a little bit of time before one of these mutates and then it's just the next pandemic. So yeah, COVID-19 is basically burying all this other news that's happening around the world. And I ended up finding this information and I thought I'd share with all of you and educate you all that this is also going on. So let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Please click that like button as well as click that subscribe button. It helps me out a lot and I truly do appreciate it. So thanks for watching everyone. This is crazy. Um, I don't know what to say other than we got to start figuring out how to treat animals better uh, and create vaccines and cures to treat these different uh, flus and you know viruses and stuff. But yeah, stay safe everyone. God bless you all and peace out.